and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for your time to love and support my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So today's video is a long overdue video, so basically it's about lip fillers. So I got my lips done about five and a half, six months ago. I got them done on the 9th of August 2019, it's basically the 27th of January. So I did a good vlog of it, so I vlogged the whole experience and I didn't tell. They're still feeling what they were before like I got them done, but they have went down a bit, but they've lasted quite well. They've went down, not loads, loads, but they have went down like quite a bit, but not, they're still fairly full, but I said before, I want to get them done again, and I will get them done again, because I like to have full lips, but I kind of go into the reasons why I decided to get my lips done, so I had them done before on the end of April, so 27th of April 2018, so it had been over a year since I had them done, so between like April 2018 to August 2019, so basically a year, four months, and no way am I waiting that long to get them done again, I'm getting them done like within a couple of months, because I, don't like, I did not like my natural lip shape and size, so the, everyone's like different, so if you don't like me talking about lip fillers or anyone talking about like kind of cosmetic procedures, surgery, like changes to yourself and don't watch this video, it's not for you and don't be leaving me any kind of nasty mean comments because you just get blocked. So yeah, that's that. So you do you. If you want to go natural, you go natural. If you want to get the load stuff done, you just do yourself. I'm going to email you do you. So yeah. So the reason... I wanted to get my lips on is because I do not like my natural lip size and shape. Before I had my lips on, my top lip was literally two bumps and just nothing really lower. Like it was just basically like a straight line when I smiled and when I moved my mouth it would just kind of bunch up and it looked like I was so slow. And don't take that the wrong way, like I not mean that in the really wrong way, but it just looked not right. Like it just did not go well for me. I just didn't like the way, even like now, like it's look at myself and just like I need to get my lips done to make them feel her to even that out but um, it's much better improvement compared to before and the bottom lip wasn't too bad but still both of them could have done with like a good bit of fullness but yeah just I didn't like the way my lips look and I just wanted to change it so I did now lip fillers the hyaluronic acid so that's what they're basically made of you can get other ones but the ones that are more commonly used nowadays is hyaluronic acid like Juvederm, Restylane, um, Teoseal, Revlex all them ones I get Teoseal kits so I get one mil I never go for half an hour I always go for a mil because I like to have a full like the good amount of impact as I can so a mil so it's basically um, 190 for a mil where I get mine done. So I get mine done in Calm Cosmetic Clinic in Belfast, basically on Yantra Road, I think it is, or Lisbon Road, one lane. Yes, Yantra Road. But it's basically like in Belfast. So if you're local to Belfast, go to Lane, they're quite good to lips, especially the second time. I was really happy with the second time. So, yeah. Now my ideal goal for lips is I want like a full kind of rounded shape. I don't want duck lips. I'm never going to go for that extreme, extreme duck lips. But I want fairly full lips. Like really nice. Like with a smile I want to say like a good top lip and a good bottom lip. And when I go to the side, I want a good point. Point, yeah, a good point. So I want my lips to look kind of defined and like flipped out a bit. And just a nice good point. I don't want them to like, kind of like big too much. I want just nice kind of furry for lips. I want people to look at me and think, you've got gorgeous lips. You have gorgeous, gorgeous lips. I don't want people to think, look at me and think, oh, her lips are like duck lips. Obviously, it would be some people who would probably think my lips would be like duck, li duck lips when I have them done again because, yeah, you can't please everyone. I'm not here to please everyone. I'm here to please myself. So, yeah. A <laughs> sign so selfish, but it is. But like, that's you live for your like, live for your like people you care about too. But like, basically, it's gonna be on your body. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, then do something about it. If you can, so yeah. So I'm sure top up, but in the next couple of months, so I'll definitely go for another mill. 
No, the pain, I didn't find them really painful at all, like literally the tiniest bit of pain. Now, I did get them on cream both times and I will continue to go for that option. The first time I had them done was basically like prick, like wee prick of needle and pressure, that's all I really felt. And then the second time was a bit more painful because I had the massage out because I had some lumps like this side was a bit bigger on that side, still kind of is, that's why I'm getting done to the run later to even that out again. But literally I had like, I still do, like it's still there, like I literally had like, like some lumps where like the filler kind of just settled in weirdly. And to have like massage that out, I should put new filler in just to make sure it was even. So it was a bit more, it was a bit more painful than the first time, but it wasn't excruciating. Some people say, oh, it's so sore, it's so excruciating, like I'm always in pain when I get it done. I'm like, I can't relate. Now, there could be a time where it might be me, you never know. But, yeah, it doesn't really, like, the pain level doesn't really, does not really that painful. Like, literally about the most, a 2 out of 10, but mainly it's between the 1 and 2 range. So it's not really that painful at all. Like, I had a tattoo done about nearly 3 years ago, and that was on the 2 to 3. No, I'm I'm mainly a big pussy with pain. <laughs> Basically, if I step on a Lego brick, I squeal the house down. So everyone's different, but the pain wasn't it wasn't that bad. It wasn't really bad at all. But yeah. No, um, the healing. So the first like the first couple of times I've had them done. So the basically the last two times like the times I had them done basically. I swole up like a balloon, like the first day, like after I got them done, I literally kind of gradually got like a big kind of trout, <laughs> I was literally like, swollen up like a puffer fish, basically it was that bad, but the good thing is, it went down quite quickly, so after like the next day, like I basically, basically most of that swell went down, obviously I still had some swell and for like the next week and then it just settled down how it would for like what it's going to look like, basically. So, I was basically like a balloon. <laughs> the first day I had them done, I was like, like literally swole up. The first time I didn't really bruise, but the second time, girl, I bruised. I literally had, like you'll see it in the video, I had like bruises from here to here, like literally, like, look like someone like, gave me a big punch in the face. It was like literally so bad. I had to cover up with makeup every time I went out and basically I did, and I had to like, put my, my full coverage foundation concealer and whatnot on my face like the lips to kind of even them out when I was wearing lipstick I had to wear like dark lipstick to cover that up <laughs> I'll, you'll see it all in the video anyway but I bruised but within a week that kind of went away so it was good and yeah I had the ice for lips I recommend when you get them done ice your lips all the kind of ease them up and not make them swell as much, but they're gonna swell regardless, and they're gonna bruise. If they're gonna bruise, they're gonna bruise. If they're gonna swell, they're gonna swell. It's just, that's just the way it is. And then you do watch out for kind of obviously there's risks and side effects with the fillers. I'm not a doctor or trained in any way of that kind of in that kind of work area. I'm not trained in that, but I do know if you get a black bruising, bruising, it's um not normally you need to go see it. I do know if you get black bruising, it's not normal and you need to go see your doctor and get that checked out because if you get like really really black kind of painful bruising, that's kind of your tissue dying. So if you get that, just let you go to your doctor, any, whatever, you need to get that sorted out quickly, any basically, yeah. But obviously be aware, do your research, look at different kind of nurses, kind of people who are trained in that, doctors, nurses, whatever, like go to somewhere that's reputable, like like people who know what they're doing, don't go to some like very kind of backstreet person who like lets you does them outside their house or in their house and comes to your house and does like their, your lips basically, just go to someone who's been properly trained, do your research, look at different kind of places, different lips, look at kind of what you want and kind of just Shop around basically and do your own research, do it at your own risk, so yeah. Be safe, because basically your face you're messing with, it's not like getting your eyebrows done or getting like your makeup done at a counter, it's basically it's like stuff going into your face, so be careful with it. So 
Well, obviously the first time I got my lips done, but then like lasted okay. Like they just went down quite quickly. Like not really quick. I still had some left over, but they were quite thin for a good while before getting done again. This time they lasted longer, but I've heard that normal. The more you get them done, the more they last longer. Now this is obviously going to be a thing that I'll get done continually for the rest of my life because I don't like natural lip shape but I think I need to get them done about twice a year. I wouldn't get them no more often than twice a year for the first few years and then get them done like once a year just to keep the shape up. That's just one of the things I continue to get done because I don't like my natural lip shape. I just don't like my natural lip size. It's just one of the things so it's one of the things I continue to get done the rest of my life. Like my hair, I'll always, I'll always be the type to have my hair a different colour or a crazy colour because I don't like natural hair colour. I like my tan, I like the, I'll always have some kind of tan. I'll obviously be kind of weeks or whatever period of time where I will have my natural pale skin showing but I prefer myself with a tan, I prefer myself with coloured hair and lips on so yeah. I make makeup one too but sometimes if I just I can't be bothered I'll not wear it but yeah. As I said before, you do, you do your research and yeah. With regards to how they last, it all depends person to person how your metabolism is and what how active and all you are and what age you are, it all depends. Basically, and also the fill type of fill you get. Some fillers last about six months, some last longer. The one I get lasts about, it should last about a year on you, give or take, but I can still feel some of my previous original filler in my lips now, so it all depends, it really all depends on the type of person you are, just everyone's different. What works for me might not work for you, what works for you might not work for me, so it basically just goes like that, so just try different ones out and just kind of do your research, that's all it is. Research, trial and error, just whatever works for you, just try that. So. Hi guys, so this is going to be a really kind of exciting, exciting day. I'm trying to get used to this camera, like holding it like this for this kind of YouTube vlog. But I don't know what, how I put this camera <laughs> I'll just hold it like that because I feel like it's a bit too much when I have it like that. I don't know. But today, I am getting my lips done again. I got them done like April 2018, so the end of April last year and... As you can see, the need on it again, and they're a bit uneven. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get at least a mil put in, be two mils, depends on what, how much I need to get the full look. I don't want duck lips. I just want them like a nice, full, rounded look. Like, I want people to think, oh, she's got like really good full lips on her face, and I want my lips to stand out more in pictures and just have that nice kind of confident, full lips and want to smile. You can see that one just disappears. That one's like not too bad, but obviously needs fixed. But I'm going to get her just to put filler around it and just obviously like do filler make a bit fuller. But I want them like a nice kind of round shape and when I smile I can see my top lip. And yes, I'll still overdraw my lips and all. Like it'll be an even nicer and overdrawn because it'll be like big full lips hopefully. I'm just hoping it'll go as well. I'm getting the Teosio Kiss filler. I'm going to Cam Cosmetics, the same person who did my lips last time. And yeah, I'm just hoping I can get this camera to sit right. Hang on. Yeah, it's fine. But I'm not going to put much makeup on. I've got my tan and stuff on, but I'm going to take my guy colour off my face, put a bit of foundation. I don't know if I'll bother. I probably will because I want to look a bit presentable, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm excited. I actually am so excited. And I have close ups on my lips in this video, so you'll see that. But wish me luck, I hope it all goes well. <laughs> I'm actually just, I've been waiting two weeks just for, because I booked my appointment two weeks ago. And I've been waiting patiently. And yeah, today, today is a day. I'm just so excited. So, <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. I'm just about to get it, to get out, yeah, get out, but I'm going <laughs> So I'm just about to head out the door. I've got like simple makeup on, so just like bit of mascara, eyebrows done, foundation, bit of bronzer, highlight, 
concealer like powder, just all like the normal stuff, liquid illuminator. I'm testing out my strobe cream, like got a sample of it a couple of weeks ago and I love it. I actually do love it. I said love it and did love it, but it's my sweet for you. And then just got lip balm on, no lipstick, because what's the point of putting it on? So it's going to get wiped off in like half an hour anyway, so. But yeah, I'm just all ready to go. And for her, just, I'm going to keep it up in this hair bag, because I can't be asked having it hanging around my face. So, yep. I, I'm always flipping wearing hair bands in my hair. I don't know why. Just, I just find them easier. I just find wearing hair bands easier. And yeah, I know I'm going on a tangent, but just... <laughs> So we'll see you when I see you. So if I can go to film from this, I think it's easier, but I've gotten done. They're swelling loads. But when I did get them done, like, the fresh off the needle, they did look quite full, and that's how they go, like, when they settle. But, they're swole loads, and I think they're duck lips, but I actually don't mind in this size. <laughs> but they actually fit my face a lot better, because, like, the way she shaped them, they look, they look even, and they look, like, really nice and full and gorgeous. I actually love the shape. Just so happy with them. I actually am. But they're going to blurry because I can see where the rubberies are. But it's okay, I can just like cover it with makeup. But I'm not going to put makeup on today, just around my face because she took off like, quite a bit of the makeup. But it's alright, I can just touch it up. So it's no big deal. But I can't speak properly. <laughs> and I'm putting lip balm on them just to really kind of make them heal. And I might ice them, probably need to ice them too. So yeah, I'll do that so they don't swell loads. Well, <laughs> too late for that, but mm hmm. I like them. So it's after two o'clock, I'm not entirely sure what time it actually is. Hang on. I always forget to check the time, don't I? Yeah, it's like 20 to 3. Flip. But as you can tell, my lips are like starting to really, really swell. But I'm actually kind of like liking this. So I am, really am. But obviously, it wouldn't go like, really extreme. Like, this will be like a cut off point. But, yeah. Done my makeup done. Like, well, touch up the makeup I had, like, messing her off my face. And then just put some of my makeup on. I use this W7 Social Light palette. And it is quite good. It isn't the best palette from W7. Like, the pigmentation takes a while, especially the mattes, to build up. But it's okay. It's worth it because the colours turn out really nice. I went for like a purpley pinkish look with like a purpley glitter, like cup crease, and I really do like it. So I'll show you like the colours I think. It's like the dupe of that Huda Nude palette. But if I can see, there's all the colours and I use like mainly all the purpley ones and that purple glitter, it's actually really really pretty. But the thing is, like if you're getting this palette or the Huda one, use your finger to put the glitter on because the brush doesn't really pick it up as much and you end up like having the dig and dig and dig to get pigment. Use your finger or just get stir quick like that. But I did use a brush to do, did use a brush to do the cut crease. And it's handy having that concealer in there. Just so you can really like open up a extra product to get a cut crease. It's, it's all in this palette so it's handy. I do wish, I know I'm going off on, off on a tangent. But I do wish I had a black or some darker, darker colours than that. But. Yeah, you get what you're given, basically, but I really like this palette, it's really nice. It's soft for matte colours, which I do like, and um, my lips are just swelling, like, I can just feel them swelling, but it's alright, <laughs> I can deal with it. But, yeah, I need to throw this hair out though, too, I need to brush up.
egg after 10 past 8 and my lips are swollen like crazy. It actually looks worse than the pictures I took, like they're in like dark with a flash, but the bruising is pretty much normal except that it doesn't, if it's black bruising it's like not normal, it's like tissue down, but it's normal, but I didn't bruise like that much at all like last time, whereas this time I did, I bruised quite a load, like especially around this part here. So if like tomorrow I'm going to have to wear like a dark lipstick for all night. But yeah, I actually, to be honest, don't mind in this size. Obviously, I've got the swell and the bruising, they look nice at this size because I feel, can't even talk properly, I feel that it's making my face look smaller, like making me look like I have more of like a heart shaped face. You can tell it's bringing everything forward, so it's like I look really mortified and like, yeah, I love it. Apart from the bruising and the swell, but I love it. And the size they were when they first got injected was perfect, like it was nice. It wasn't many but bigger than that, but it is actually a nice size and the shape and all. Perfect, because I just love it. Apart from all this, like, but I just love it. So, yeah, I'm going to, like, check in each day for, like, this week. I think that's what I'm going to do it, like. And, yeah, I can't take myself seriously, though, but I do love the size <laughs> So it is 10 to 1 as the next day and here's what my lips look like now. Like most of the swells went down and I love the shape of them, like I've got a wee point all now. And it's like my face so much better compared to my old lips, like I just, my face looks more kind of in balance and it actually is step before it does make my face look like more defined, like I've got more definition in my face, like the structure and the profile. It looks better, definitely. And I can't wait to wear like makeup and all and put lipstick on tonight, but I'll have to put on a dark one. I'm not sure if I should wear red because I'm not sure the re the bruise will show through red. It might do. That's why I might have to go for like a really dark, dark fatty look. Like a dark, dark purple or dark, dark kind of berry shade or something like that. Or maybe even the black. I know. But I've got a couple like calf I'm showing you about the bruising. It's really bad there on, on day thirds. I've got there, but I suppose I can cover it with makeup as I said before, but I'm just like thinking what kind of shade I'm going to wear. But I've got a couple of like the darker Calf on Day liquid lipstick that I got a set of them um, two years ago nearly. Well, Halloween 2017, so nearly two years ago. And there's a couple of nice dark ones. There's like that Exorcist, there's Damned, or there's like Witches, which is like black. So I might wear one of them free. And then do my eyes like Obviously, I'm putting on my makeup and stuff, and I'm going to have them like nice and smoky because I just think if you're wearing a dark lip, you have to have something on the eyes to balance it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to like put like a smoky shadow or something on, or do something similar to what I had on like yesterday. But yeah, I can't wait for the night, anyways. Buzzing and show off these lips and all and pictures. <laughs> so I'll see you like later on the night when I have the makeup on and I'll let you know how it goes
that's my long kind of rambly video about the whole lip filler thing and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one and stay gorgeous. Bye!